602 breaking news this morning. A suspect taken into custody following a shooting in the Katy area. This happened on Roaring Oaks. One woman is dead, two others hurt, including a teenager. Brittany Jeffers has been following the story throughout the morning and joins us now live with new information. Brittany? Within the past hour, we did receive an update from detectives, and they tell us that they believe that this alleged gunman is accused of shooting and killing his wife, as well as injuring her two children. Now, as far as a motive is concerned, they say they believe that this is an ongoing domestic disturbance event that's been going on for some time. This neighborhood on Roaring Oaks, now the focus of a murder investigation. I was outside when I heard the gunshots. Um, I can't exactly tell you how many, but it was multiple. Um, at that point, um, all the kids and everybody came running out of the house screaming. Harris County Sheriff's deputies say when they arrived at the home around 9 o'clock last night, they found a female victim, Valerie Junius, fatally shot outside of the residence. Investigators say the alleged gunman was her husband, Lawrence Reed. Reed's also accused of injuring Junius's 16-year-old and 20-year-old children in the shooting. Investigators say Reed then barricaded himself inside of the home and neighbors were told to evacuate. There was a lot of commotion and after a while they, they did tell us um, to, to hide in our house, but a minute later they, they came knocking and told us to leave. The whole street actually had to like evacuate. According to sheriff's deputies, hostage negotiators talked on the phone with Reed for about 30 minutes, ultimately getting him to leave the house where he was then taken into custody. It's pretty crazy. I grew up over here, so never had anything like that happen. A sheriff's deputy say that Reed is charged with murder and two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Meantime, we are told the 16-year-old and 20-year-old are expected to be okay. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Brittany.